Good day everyone. Welcome to another episode of Practice Problem Series. Today we're going to take part 2 of the arithmetic series. So, let's see the questions. Find a specified partial sum for each arithmetic series. Okay? So, we have an arithmetic series here, an arithmetic sequence, and we need to find the sum of the first 10 terms. So let's let's do and deal with this. For number one, we need uh, we need to identify our given. So for our a sub n on our last term, we don't know our last term. So because it's not given in the in the problem. So we need to solve for a sub n, and we will use arithmetic sequence formula. So again, our a sub one is four. Our n is 10 and our common difference is 7. So that's now if you might answer where do I get this 10? Uh, I get that here because we need to find the 10th term. Because we need to find the sum of the first 10 terms. So that would be the value of our n or the number of terms that is needed. So if we substitute that, let's solve for a sub 10. I just substitute all the values that in, are in my given. So we have 10 minus 1 is 9, and 9 times 7 is 63, then 63 plus 4. Now we will use the arithmetic sequence formula. Now we have our first term, our a sub 1, our n, and our last term, or our e sub n. Again, the value of our n is 10. First term, first term is 4. Last term is 67. So 10 divided by 2 is 5, then 4 times 6 is 4, 4 plus 67 is 71, then 71, 71 multiplied by 5 is 335. So that's the sum of the first 10 terms. For number 2, same process. We need first to solve for a sub 12. And as you can see, that's our a sub 12, 60 for 69. Uh, a sub 1 is 3, n is 12, and common difference is 6. So I just substitute all the values that I have. Now, 12 minus 1 is 11. Then we have this equation. 11 times 6 is 66. Then 66 plus 3 is 69. So the value for a sub 12 is 69. Now we have our first term and our last term. Now, all we have to do is to substitute all the givens that we have. Again, our n is term because the sum of the first the first 12 terms. So a sub 1 is 3 and a sub, 9, a sub n is 69. 3 plus 69 is 72. 12 divided by 2 is 6. So we have this. So 6 times 72 is 432. So that's the sum of our first 12 terms. So I'm sorry for that. I made a mistake. It should be 12. I may I misedit the slides. Again, for number 3, same process. Number 9. So we need first to find a sub 12. So let's substitute the values that we have. I, I hope by this time in this tutorial, you know how to get the common difference and you know how, I, how to identify n or the number of terms but if you fail to do that just go back to our practice problems and there is a tutorial there on how to get the common difference so now let's do 12 minus 1 is 11 11 times 3 is 33 so 33 plus 2 is 35 so now we have our first term and our last term and n so let's do that to get the sum now, again, I just substitute the values that I have in the formula. 12 divided by 2 is 6. Then 2 plus 35 is 37. Now, 37 times 6 is 222. So, that's the sum of the first 12 terms. Now, let's deal with fractions. So, let's solve for a sub 8 first. Now, we... Our first term is 1, our number of terms is 8, and our common difference is 1 half. 
Now, this substitute all of that. That's our given. Then, 8 minus 1 is 7. Now, 7 times 1 half is 7 over 2. Now, let's make 1. Now, you know, it, when we deal with addition and subtraction of fraction, I need to have the same denominator. I didn't need to do that. So, 1, I will make 1 to 2 over 2. Because 2 over 2 is equal to 1 as well. So, that's, that's how it works. So, 2 plus 7 is 9. So, that is 9 over 2. So, if we're going to put that in mixed number, we have 4 and 1 half. Now, let's try to get the, the sum of the first 8 terms. So, n is 8 because the sum of the first 8 terms. a sub 1 is 1 and a sub, and the last term is a sub 1, a, a uh, 4 and 1 half. Okay, so 1 plus 4 and 1 half is 5 and 1 half. I, uh, it is easy for me to deal with this when it is in in improper fraction. So I I am not fan of mixed number. So all I have to do is to transform this in mixed number. That is two multiplied by five. That is ten plus one. That that would make eleven. So we have four times eleven over two. So we have twenty two because four divided by two is two. Then two times eleven is twenty. Now, number five, let's deal with negative numbers. Okay, our common difference is five. Again, just like what I'm always saying, I would like to remind you that if your, your arithmetic sequence is increasing in value, then your, your common difference is five. Don't be fooled by these negative numbers. Uh, it might, you might end up... Uh, having a wrong answer. So, let's substitute the values. n is 6, a sub is negative 15, and d is 5. So, 6 minus 1 is 5. 5 times sub is 25. Now, negative 15 plus 25. So, we have negative, positive 10. Okay, so that's our sixth term. Now, let's use that to answer this problem. Our first term is six, our n is 6, or the number of terms is 6. Then 15 plus 10 is negative 5. So 3 times negative 5 is negative 15. So that's the answer. That's the sum. So number 6. Now let's... Let's find the six term first. Again, we just substitute the values that we have and we will get 26 as our, 26 as our six term. Okay, then let's solve it. Let's use this to solve for the sum of the first six term. Again, the value of n is six. So we just substitute that. Our first term is nine. And our last term is 26. So 9 plus 26 divided by 2 is 3. 9 negative 9 plus 26 is 17. So 3 times 17, that would be 51. So the sum of the first 6 term of this 6 sequence is 51. Now, in this kind of problems, you may find it uh, intimidating. But in reality, all you have to do first is to illustrate the sequence. Now, we know that our a sub 1 is 9. Because it's our given. Then there should be a blank between that and 17, which is our third term. First term, second term, third term, fourth term, and fifth term. I stop on fifth term because we only need to find the, the sum of the fifth term. Now, how can we get the values of this? Because if you will recall our previous tutorial... This somehow uh, shows that we need to find the arithmetic mean here. And to do that, we need to, move to add 9 and 17 and divide it into 2. 17 plus 9 is 26. Then 26 divided by 2, 2 is 13. So we have 13 here. Now as you can see, you can now compute for its common difference. 13 minus 9 is 4. 17 minus 13 is 4. So, we know that our common difference is 4. 
So we need to add this 4 to this number to get this, num this number or this term. Now 17 plus 4 is 21. 21 plus 4 is 25. So now we have the we have we have completed the sequence. All we need to do is to add and add them so it will give us a answer of 85. Now if you want, if you are having trouble of adding it and you don't know how to add, or maybe you want to impress your teachers on how to compute the sum of the first five terms, you just use the formula. The substitute the value of the first term and the last term and the value of n, and then simplify it, expound it, and you get 85 as well. Either or is either or is somehow is acceptable. Now, same process here in number eight. In this case, we have three arithmetic means. And to do that, we just need to subtract this one, the la larger term, to the lowest term available. And count how or what number of term it is. It is the fifth term, so just put 5 here and 1 here. So 48 minus 32 is 16, then 5 minus 1 is 4, then 16 divided by 4 is 4. Now we know we know now our common difference, and to use that, we, not, we just need to add 4 on this to get the next or the succeeding term. Now 32 plus 4, that would be 36. 36 plus 4, that would be 40. 40 plus 4 is 44, and 44 plus 4 is 48. Now, 48 plus 4 is 52. Again, you can add it manually and you get the answer of 252. Now, if you want to impress others or just or if you want to practice yourself using the formula, you could just substitute it, all the values, and ex evaluate it. So we get 3 times 84, then we get 252 as an answer. Now, number 9, that's another kind of problem that's similar to the previous one. Now, let's put that in line. Now, we know that this is first term, second term, third term, and fourth term. Now, let's find, remember that 7 is for the fourth term and 8 is the first term. So, now let's compute the common difference. We have the last term available minus the first, the first term or the least term available. Then we know that it is a fourth term, so that is 4 minus 1, because this is the first term. So 7 minus negative 8 is 15. Then 4 minus 1 is 3. So we have D is equal to 5. So negative 8 plus 5 is negative 3, plus 5 is 2, plus 5 is 7, plus 5 is 12. Again, you could just simply add that and you'll get a sum of 12. Or you could use the formula and get also the sum of 10. I'm sorry, the sum of 10. On last number, let's do this. Again, let's have 26 minus 6. And this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is a sub 5. So 5 minus 1. This is 1. 25 minus 6, 26 minus 6 is 20, 5 minus 1 is 4, 20 divided by 4 is 5. So let's just add 5. 6 plus 5 is 11, 11 plus 5 is 16, 16 plus 5 is 21, 21 plus 5 is 26, and 26 plus 5 is 31, 36, 41, and 46. So you could just add all of, all of them, or you could just use them. To get and you will get the same answer. So that's that's all now for now. And I hope that you learn how to answer this kind of problem and hope that you be able to answer problems given to you by your teacher and you would pass your activities uh, in this kind of problems. So hope to see you on my next video. So that's all for today. Goodbye and thank you.